So we fitted some new skirting board here, as you can see it's unpainted. So the preparation for this first thing would be to just rub it down with a fine sanding paper, in this case a, a pad. One tip when you're doing that is obviously it's going to produce a bit of dust, so it's ideal to just use a dry brush just to remove all those dust particles, enabling them to paint over the top of that. Now, as you can see, this is pine wood, so it does have naturally knots in it. And this would actually tend to sometimes bleed through the paint if you don't treat them. So I've just put a clear knotting solution over the top, just let them dry for 24 hours, and then I'm in a position ready to paint with the primer undercoat. So on the burr wood, I'm going to use a crown wood primer undercoat. And the primer actually sinks into the bare wood and gives a good foundation for the decorative coat to sit on top of. And this creates a really good sturdy foundation so you get a really tough finish and it will not blister or, or peel off. If you were to use just the gloss over the top of the bare wood then you'd have some problems. Now using a brush, uh, as you can see what we've done here, we've actually put a, a masking tape around the edge so there's no uh, real problem of it getting onto the wood floor in this case. But just make sure when you do start your painting is that you put a good even amount on and then just keep that wet line moving from one corner right the way through to the next. Now one of the good things about the Crown Wood Primer Undercoat is that actually it's a water-based system. Now that means that it's actually going to be touch dry in just 30 minutes but it will allow you to paint over the top of it with the decorative coat in just two hours so you can get the job done quickly.